Street's version of 3KB. I'm Mike. Hi, I'm a hipster. And today we're reviewing NHL 12. We couldn't find a hockey arena, so we're here filming ANC games. Like the video right down there, you stupid c Sorry, I didn't mean it. Just hit the button, please. By the way, when you liked the video, it actually helped us last week with our Dead Island review. So it's really tricky to review these games, right? Because they incrementally update things year after year. But like your sex life. It gets a little worse over here. Let's just get it down to the jibby jibby. It is a solid hockey game. There's a lot of new features, so let's just talk about that. Are you going to look at them ever? No, just look at you. You're so beautiful. The glasses. The big new mode in NHL 12 is be a legend, and I'm not talking about joining the Blue Man Group. You can play as Jeremy Roenick, uh, Gordie Howe, all the way up to Wayne Gretzky, Gretzky. even Patrick Waugh. You can play the goalie. What this is is that you only play one player on the ice. Arrows that kind of throw me off, they point to where you should go and stuff, and they recommend your positioning. But you even have to go off the ice between like a uh, line yeah. change. You can tell that they're trying to add something new to this. But it's not new. It's not that, no, just, it's, it's it's new, but it's just not that fun, in my opinion. I mean, <laughs> when there's a line change, you go off the ice, and it, there's a text that says, like, your coach tells you, oh, you did good, or you have to work on this, or your shit. It's like, go give me a sub. Put a puck in the net. You gotta put the puck in no shit. And then you progress, and you can unlock the other pros. Overall, that new mode, I was not impressed. I thought. I mean, but at least at least they tried. Like, if you really, really like hockey. Hey, this is the video game industry. You have to simulate your next line change. So you have to wait around. You see it the load. I wish they could just do it quicker. Like hit B and then boom, you're back on the edge. There was a lot about the the menu system that it was really annoying. There is a lot of features and game modes. They took away one game mode. Some guy would be like, you took away the juice mode. Yeah, they'd go, why oh, can't you feed Gatorade to a player? I think the issue is how the menu is laid out. Maybe I'm a simpleton, but it's just, I was it's so ridiculous. overwhelmed with all the, I'm like, it's how, how, do you do, how do I play online? Yeah, it's, I go to Xbox Live and you go to, you, know, you can go anywhere to play online. Oh man. Well, it's all the same. It's like play now and then play versus play online, play uh, with your dicks. And then obviously you go to Xbox Live and it's like play in a team, play on the bench, play with your mother, play with your father. It's too much. I don't want a, a menu system where it's so ridiculous. The hardcore hockey player will love this. Oh yeah, there's no question yeah, of that. If they you're, will, uh, they will love it. Yeah, you should just go buy it if you're hardcore. I mean, there's no better. Hardcore. There's no better hockey game out there. No. Once again, he has introduced the season pass, so you actually have to pay ten dollars if you buy this used. Mm. It comes with a pass when you buy it new. How do you guys feel about that? I know we've done debates on it, but I mean, is it getting out of hand? Bongo, 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 bongo. You could finally play the winter classic game that usually takes place around New Year's Day in Pittsburgh. Cool, because right when you pop in the disc. Your first time play, you were thrown into this game, and you're like, what is this? So I gotta do this every single time no. with the disc game? No. Of course not. No. But, but you see the snowflakes. What's amazing is it gets you right into the game. It's like, this is fucking hockey. Now so what's bad. really amazing is to see the Barry Colts, where we're from. Yes. The Barry Molson Center is actually in the game. What's also new is you could- Look at uh, that. Just lift that up. Oh, wow. What's also new is that uh, you can also, not only can you be a pro, but now you could be a CHL pro. Really, if you're in the CHL, for whatever yeah, reason. Yeah, really good. You know, another new feature is the full contact engine. And what that means is that checks and body slams and finger banging in this game is nothing like it ever has before. You could check the guy into the other team's bench, check him through the glass, helmets no, you, you falling could do off. That. You could do that. But Sticks anyways. falls off. I've yep. knocked a few boys over the board. A hockey stick will actually stop, uh, that's broken on the ice, will actually stop a puck yeah. or make a play, or like Yeah, trip. it's annoying as fuck. Another thing that's new, it, I didn't know, I thought I already had it, to be honest, is crash the crease with the goalie. More dynamic goalies where, meaning, Finally, the goalies can fight other players. Two goalies can fight each other. Remember I used to hear the whistle and then you go up to players and check them? Yeah. Just constantly? If you do that now, they get angry and come after you. The AI sometimes does it automatically. Yeah. I go, I'm just, I'm just, I'm, yeah. just, I'm taking a sip of my coke. Yeah, just to piss you, you off. You feel your controller rumble, you're like, what And it's awesome, this? it's because it gets you angry. That guy's gonna get his head popped off. Okay. Okay. And you have a team AI teammate a lot of times in the old versions, they would go offside over the blue line. It was annoying as hell. But now you can actually see them slow down a bit and they drag their skate. Don't get me wrong, it still happens where the AI goes offside, but it's much less than the previous versions. Amazing when you really think about it, that's life. That's what happens in real life. I know, just like, like in if, Dead Island, you gotta go get no, no. gas, juice. B, a GM mode is back, so if you're really into hockey, you can be a, a general manager, pick your oh, team. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. This is the 21st NHL game that EA has done. When you've done 21 games, one every year, 
It's crazy now. There's so much in this game. Hockey Ultimate Team is crazy. Basically, take a player from the OHL, NHL, uh, CFL, NFL. No, I'm kidding, but you can take any hockey player from any league and make your own team. Your dream team, essentially, right? Yeah. Finally, in this game, you can create female hockey players. So you can create an entire female team for, for you yeah, little girls. Yeah, I can't wait to do that. Well, little girls uh, like hockey, believe it or not. Little Canadian girls. To be honest, my sister soaked. was almost a goalie in the OHL. There you go. So, so she could play this game and make her own Now she's character. a wrestler. Well, like, you can't do that in this. Where are you going? Overall, this is a solid NHL game. The only thing I really don't like about it is that there is some uh, animation issues. Oh. Especially when you play online. You know what? This happens in gameplay, and that actually causes me to screw up a lot of the times. In the game. I installed to the hard drive, right? That, and it helped. Right. It improves it, but there's still some little glitchy issues in this yes, game. The replays in this are horrible. It's the worst I've ever seen ever. Sometimes it follows a player after you score a goal, and you're like, why are you following that? I want to see where the goal went in. But on the other hand, you can just skip them. One of the owners of Ainsley Games, thank you, Garth. Thank you, Garth. Yeah. Thank you. That's a nice shirt. What is your overall score? Ah, I have to give it like a solid nine, I guess. What else is wrong with it? A nine? What's wrong with it? I think some of the bad things. The for bad you. things is it's so convoluted with these features now that have been made over the years. They really need to have more focus and make it more organized. You can't have EA game face when you create a player. No, I want to put my face on it's there. It's stupid. Why can't they do that? So what do you give out of 10? I give this game a 7.5. Why? The fact of the presentation being so lackluster drives me insane. What do you I want to see the full presentation. The gameplay is very good. I still have issues with the way that you have to check in this game with the right analog stick. Oh, you're so old. I know I'm old school, but they could have made it a little bit better. I just don't like the new controls. Oh, but you, just don't they're like not it. even new anymore. I know that. When I want to see a goal replay, this takes me out of the game. I want to see it go in. You're talking about online play. No, right? I'm talking about... Because, my friend, you can check in some replays. Yes, oh, you can. You yes, can, you can. I want to see it replayed right afterwards. This is awesome. It went to the top right of the net where it keeps the peanut butter. And the animations for me are sometimes very wonky. The frame rate is horrible at but times. But not if you install it on your hard drive. The frame rate goes to 30. Sometimes 24 oh God, frames 30. per second. Oh no. Rage, which is coming out soon, is 60 frames per second constantly. Deal with it. You get you and your three friends, it's epic. Yes it is. Couch multiplayer. This is the best. This is a split screen, my friend. Get real. Great. You don't like hockey. You're not a true Canadian. Nine it's out of ten. It's the same thing we've played, but better. It's the same hey, how about, thing. Hey, if it's not broke, don't fix it. Hey, if it's yeah. not broke, don't fix it. I know. Let's go on to the gameplay. Oh, no. Okay, so... <laughs> uh, no, you can't do that. Oh, no. Oh, Doesn't yeah. that look like Valerie from our high school? No, Just I don't know much that is. more crack cocaine in her system? Nah. Video well, let me tell Canada. you, my friend, my pi our Pixar debate is the eighth most rated of entertainment. <laughs> little drool. No, that's not drool. Little drool for the stool.